Hi folks, it's good to be with you. I'm recommending some books, so I'm going to recommend another book, and that is this, uh, The Puritan Hope, by Ian Murray, and uh, there it is, Puritan Hope by Ian Murray, published by uh, The Banner Truth, which is here. So we'll read uh, what writers have to say about Ian Murray's book and I'd encourage you if you want to read a book this year or next year get a hold of this book this book will really bless you it'll challenge you it'll encourage you and I would encourage you to get hold of it and we're going to read about what it's about okay so here's on the preface at the back today the church hope in respect to her mission of discipling all nations is in eclipse the world gives Christianity no future and evangelicals themselves doubt whether the cause of Christ can ever attain to a greater triumph before his second advent. Must the prospects for succeeding generations be darker than those of today? Can we even expect any period of history to intervene before the advent of Christ? How can re readiness for Christ's coming be consistent with the belief that revivals are yet to be, to be given to the church? Such questions are brought to the fore in this book, and the author employing both exposition of scripture and much historical and biographical material sets out the case for believing that it is not orthodox to indulge in gloom over the prospect of Christianity in the world. So that's the banner of truth, Puritan Hope, by Ian Murray. And... It's a study in revival and the interpretation of prophecy. And you can get it from the Banner Truth. And I'm just going to read some I'm going to read F.F. Bruce what he says about this book. Perhaps the most important important practical aspect of this study is a demonstration of the influence which the Puritan hope had on the beginning of modern missionary movement, carrying others who attempted great things for God because they expected great things from God, and were by far from giving it any place in their thoughts to that pessimism over the future of the church's work in the world, which here and there is more recent generations has acquired the status of a new orthodoxy. Mr. Murray has written a book of high importance which deserves to be studied and pondered by evangelical Christians. John Murray, I think it is fine piece of work and the chapter dealing with the eminence of the Advent, New Testament sense of eminence, in relation to other data of an exegetical and historical nature, is masterful. James M. Boyce, in this the most recent title the author reaches new heights presenting a winsome portrait of puritan divines focusing upon their extraordinary vitality and the understanding of history which had undergirded and um, so it, it basically is looking at at the fact that god can bring revivals i mean things are getting bad things are getting worse but the book saying look we can hope to see revivals, we can hope to see God blessing our work. And he has quotes here by John Calvin uh, and other writers. Um, so he, he quotes John Calvin on Hebrews. The word hope I take for faith, and indeed hope is nothing else but the con constancy of faith. Uh, commentating on Hebrews chapter 3 verse 6. And um, he quotes J. Neander in the history of the Christian religion and church. Strong and certain was the conviction of the Christian that the church would come forth triumphant out of its conflicts. And as it was, its destination to be a world transforming principle would attain to dominion of the world. Thomas Brooks. There will come a time when the world's holiness shall be more general and more imminent than ever it had been since after Adam fell in paradise. So Thomas Brooks was a Puritan. David Brainard, a great missionary, 
I had a strong hope that God would bow the heavens and come down and do some marvellous work among the heathen. So, the Puritan hope. If you're a pastor today and you're preaching and you're, you're feeling a bit down, a bit discouraged, uh, feeling very pessimistic, this book will, will strengthen you and give you hope to preach. If you're an evangelist and you're discouraged and you're wondering what's it all about, this book will give you hope and revive your faith. And if you're a Christian and you're worried about all that's happening today, this book will give you hope. So I'd encourage you to get hold of this book and it will bless you and it will strengthen you and it will inspire you to have faith and believe that God can do great things in our day. Alright? The Puritan Hope. God bless you. Don't forget my website is You can get me on Facebook and you can get me on Twitter. God bless you.